In this video, we're going to look at number grids, number sequences, how to get different types of number grid, how to count on in twos. So let's start by opening Cambridge Primary Maths Toolbox. Here we have our familiar screen. We can move our toolbox around and I'm going to open the Numbers Toolbox. And I'm going to start with number grids. Now, instantly you can see that you can create a 100 grid from 1 to 100, 0 to 99 or a blank 100 grid. But I can also create a customised number grid and I'm going to do that to start with. So let's say our pupils are only dealing with numbers from 1 to 20. So let's do a 20 grid. So let's have four rows of five columns. And I want to start with the number 1, so just type it in and tell it to create a customised number grid. There we go. I'm just going to move it to the centre of the screen and click away from it. You'll notice now that the properties bar at the bottom is empty. There are two types of properties associated with a number grid. First of all, there are the properties of the numbers actually in the grid themselves. So if I click on one of them, such as this 14, you'll see at the bottom there appears everything associated with the font and position of the number. So if, if for some reason I wanted to make the 14 larger, just click on 22 and it would become larger. Click on bold, it would become bold. I'm going to take it back to its normal size. And there we are. So click on these number squares and you will get properties associated with the numbers themselves. If I click away from it and click on the edge, you'll see that I get a different set of properties. So here we can hide multiples of different numbers. So if I'm teaching them to count in twos and to look at twos, I can ask it to hide multiples of two. Click in the two there, click on the tick and they'll disappear. If I want to bring back all the numbers, I click on the I and they go. Click back on the tick, they'll disappear again. If I want to bring back individual numbers, I use this tool here, which shows you a nine and a question mark. So I can bring back the two, for instance. So one thing we can do with our pupils is keep this tool selected, asking them to state what should be in this box. And then if we're using an interactive whiteboard, just to tap on the box on the board and you'll get the four and the six and the eight. And as I say, to bring them all back, just click on the eye and they'll all come back. If I want to highlight, for instance, two and counting in two, I can pull up the pink square. Again, with an interactive whiteboard, this works very well. I can choose my color, pink, green, blue, etc. And all the pupil has to do is click the square, tap the square to color it. So we can count in twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. To remove the color or change it, well, to change the colour, just click on another colour, click the square. To remove the colour, click on the no colour box and just click and you can take out all the colour. You can colour half the squares, pick your colour, so pink, half squares, there we go. Very easy to do. So we can choose our size of number grid and we can talk to them about counting in twos, counting in fours, counting in sevens, nines, whatever number we feel like. I can also create a blank number grid in this way. So let me just take out all the colour to get us back to where we started. So I'm just taking out all the colour. Take that out. Now if I ask it to hide all the numbers, so if I tell it to hide the multiples of one, it will hide all the numbers. And this means that if we use this tool here, which brings back individual numbers, we can get them to count in twos. So there's our two, four, where's the six going to be? It's there, where's the eight going to be, etc. Let's go to the next page, click just up here. So you've now got page two out of 10. Back to our numbers toolbox and let's have a look at number lines. I'm going to do a customised number line. I want a horizontal number line. I want integers. I'm going to start with two and I'm going to count in twos. So tell it OK 
and that gives me my customised line. If you start at 1, obviously you'll get all the odd numbers. So, we can get the pupils to count, 2, 4, 6, 8. Again, if you click away from it, the properties bar is empty. Click onto it, and you get some properties. So let's have a little look and see what we've got. We can hide some numbers. So let's see how many numbers we want to hide. Backspace. Let's hide four numbers. And click on the tool next to it. And four of the numbers are hidden, and we can ask our pupils to fill in the numbers. To see them again, click the I, they all come back. We can get them to count. If we want to go backwards or forwards, we just click on these arrows here, so forwards, 24, 26. Backwards, we can go back to 6, 4, 2, 0. It will even go into minus numbers. So let's start again with our 2. We can also make it to count, and they can count along with it. So if I click on this tool here, tell it that I want to start from the first marker, and I'm going that way, and just tell it to play. Just put it over here so it's out of the way. Tell it to play, and they can count with it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, etc. Stop it there. Another tool we can use, let's put in another new page. So let's click another page, get rid of our counting bar, and we'll have a look at sequences, which is this tool. Tell it I want a step of two again. We're going to start, let's start this time with four and we're going to show just the first three numbers and tell it OK. So here we have just the three numbers. Again click away from it, no properties. Click into it, you have properties. Same ones as before, we can hide multiples. But what I'm going to do is pick up the hide unhide numbers, click on that, get the pupils to come up to the board and as they click on a square the number will appear. So you could ask them which number is going into this square and when they get it right, just tap it on the whiteboard, the number appears.